All right, everybody, here's something you don't see on my channel much. We're down at the coast. This is St. George Island, the barrier islands up here on the Forgotten Coast in North Florida. Um, we're not actually on the island, uh, excuse me, on the water. We're at this little Tiki Hut restaurant and the band is playing tonight. So figured I'd blog a little bit of this and then we'll actually start the video. Yeah, so here's our little setup. This is like our acoustic electric. <laughs> broke down gig so I got a little cajon drum set here it, it's good for stuff like this so we're playing to a big island tiki bar and uh, we'll be here till like friggin midnight so ain't going fishing tomorrow We got like an so El we got like an Elvis. Have any George Jones fans out there? We got we got Elvis over here, guys. I mean, I'm not I'm not judging. I'm not profiling. I'm just saying. Huh? Yeah. Full house tonight. Hey guys, welcome back to the world's worst fishing. I'm Chris Jones, and uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in today. So today I'm doing a very difficult colorway challenge, challenge to myself. And um, I'm going to try to recreate a long ear sunfish, um, commonly known as river brim. I mean, you can just see it's a very tropical looking fish, um, very common around here in the south. Um, and uh, one of the prettiest fish you'll ever look at. They're, they're kind of like a warm mouth in a way. Uh, they're just stunning. And it's a very intricate pattern and color. Um, so we're going to see if we can do something like that. We're going to be using our big swim bait mold because this, it, just the shape of this bait really allows you to, to do a lot with it. It's like a big canvas. Um, so we're going to see what we can do about recreating this. And uh, I think it's going to be quite a challenge. It may turn out like complete garbage, uh, but we're going to try our best. I've never tried this color, not five years ago, not five days ago. Um, so without further ado, we're going to try to do a long ear sunfish swim bait. And uh, hey, wish me luck, guys. All right, so we're going to start with a little bit of dead on orange. And I mean a little bit. Dead on colorant is very thick. It's very uh, concentrated. All right, so we don't want to do too much because I want to try to maintain a little bit of transparency and, you know, with such a thick bait, um, it's going to, to be thick kind of in general um, because, uh, well, you know, it, it's because the bait's so thick, just a little bit of colorant, you still can't see through the bait. Um, simply because you know you're trying to look through an inch of plastic so um now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add just a little bit of brown to that orange so i got this up to like 450 degrees by accident so that that pigment's bubbling bubbling it up a little bit so we're just gonna add a couple drops of brown yeah mix this up a little better here a little bit of drops of brown to give it kind of that burnt orange look at least I hope I may have to add a little bit of red to really get it right actually I think that's the right track right there let me get my phone yeah so we've got to kind of get you know you can definitely tell that there's some brown in that orange so we're gonna add a little bit more a few more drops there yeah, let's see. 
definitely getting like a nice let me uh let me just pick it up real quick this is that awkward time of the day when i've got sunlight coming in here that's really close i like that actually we might go with that all right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of the large black flake just to kind of have a little bit of texture um, because that's what the tail is going to be. The tail portion is going to be this orange because uh, looking at other pictures of them, the tail is kind of like a burnt orange and black. So um, that's what we'll do. And then the majority um, of this color in the body section will be covered up by um you know after effects and and a little bit of hand painting so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just pour this bait just gonna pour the whole thing in this burnt orange color okay let's go on down here to the tail okay looking good all right that's a full mold and uh We'll meet you back here in just a little bit, and uh, I'll kind of get that sunlight out of here, and uh, we'll see what we get. All right, so we just took this bad boy out of the mold. You can see we have a nice burnt orange, a little bit of black flake in the tail looks good. Most of the flake kind of sunk to the bottom. That's just kind of part of it when you have a mold that takes so long to set up, that flake is, is going to uh, sink a little bit but uh, no worries there. So we got this in some really cold water and we're gonna let it, you know, just kind of set up for a little bit and then we'll dry it off. And then we will try to turn this into a long ear sunfish. Okay, so we need to make a turquoise pigment of some sort. So what I'm thinking we're gonna do is we're gonna take some white pearl. Okay, this is white mica powder put it in this beer cap over here because that's how we roll and we're gonna mix it with some blue pigment and that should kind of mix up to make a I don't know what my dogs are barking at that should kind of mix up to make a uh, turquoise powder all right so I think the final ingredient that I need is a little bit of white pigment because that will really lighten up that blue so we're just gonna mix this in a little bit this is not the best way to do this but it's the way that I do it so we'll uh, see what we can get here okay so basically the head is a bunch of squiggly blue lines kinda over that orange um, so yeah we're just going to kind of get some blue pigment on here and uh you know just kind of start with some start with some lines and they're just kind of at random it looks like so even though the eye is going to be covering that there we're just going to kind of have some fun with this blue pigment here um not sure how well that's showing up we'll kind of move the bait a little bit but um, yeah you know we're just gonna kinda draw a bunch of squiggly lines and you know some little spots here and there cause it's 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 kind of at random you know in a way the the patterns here you know we'll have to get the actual front of the bait as well looks like the very front lip kind of comes together okay so yeah just some kind of random random squigglies in the blue and it kind of fades to white on the bottom so we'll kind of adjust accordingly there alright yeah just kind of some random blue blue squigglies here and then if you look, sort of the bottom, the little marks are white. So we'll, we'll just kind of 
a little bit of white and it kind of fades to white but honestly that would just be insane to try to make that look right so we'll just kind of do some little white squigglies on the bottom and that's kind of true for the whole bottom so you can see the bottom is kind of more white squigglies than anything else and they're more just dots you know the further you get down the back you know they're, they're just kind of white dots so you know we'll just kind of do some some dot patterns as we get as we get in there but that's kind of the basic idea right there and this blue isn't near as light as that um, I tried really hard to match that I didn't get it exactly um, not really sure what else I can do without starting over but I kind of like this um, so we're gonna we're gonna keep at it so now we're just kind of dotting the the body and the back of this fish here so just kind of just kind of random dots you know not really sure what the right necessarily the right way to do it is but um, you know it just kind of continues all down the back just these random kind of blue dots and squigglies so um, yeah you know we're gonna kind of continue those down the tail of the bait yeah definitely uh, a lot of a lot of stuff going on on these you know so you can kind of see we're starting to kind of establish a, a, a bit of a look here so this one here is going to kind of be our transition I kind of double dipped the white and the blue to just kind of give it a little bit of randomness going to try to merge the two types of colors okay then we're going to kind of keep dotting this kind of keep dotting the top a little bit back here with blue kind of fade it in a little bit to the white okay all right a little sloppy on the white but that's not too bad we'll kind of hit it with the heat gun real quick Okay, so now we're gonna paint the uh, the fin uh, the actual ear on, so to speak. So it'll just kind of be a uh, a black ear here. It's probably in real life kind of a dark navy blue ear, but that's okay. We're just gonna do it in black pigment so that it shows up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, it's looking all right. Yeah. Not too bad. And again, the heat gun is just kind of, it kind of melts the lit surface layer of the plastic and kind of sets in all this extra paint and powder and everything. And then just kind of lightly on the outside of that fin, you'll see it has like a white edge. So we're going to attempt sort of a very light kind of white outer edge here to this fin. See if I can do it without just gooping up too much pigment here. Okay, yeah. Just kind of on the outside of that fin. Yeah, just, just enough that you know it's there. Yeah, that'll work. Good enough for painting with powders and pigments which I kind of like, you know, anyone can go buy the paint uh, that's going to be, you know, already the right color, but I kind of like using your normal bake uh, materials to 
do something special and to do a little hand painting, so to speak. It's kind of become sort of my look a little bit, inspired by uh, the master over at Oracle Lures, Mr. Brad Hardy. So we're gonna let that set up for a little bit. All right, so I have some clear dip heating up in the microwave, so now I'm gonna put on my eyes, okay? These are big 15 millimeter eyes, and they have a sticky back background, or uh, a backing, so to speak. Um, so yeah, see we got a little bit of pigment uh, build up there, but that's okay. That's gonna happen, unfortunately, and we might kinda thicken that up just a smidge in a few places. Yeah. All right, we'll go ahead and put this next eye on. Boom. Yeah, that's what we have right there. All right, moment of truth. There's a lot of pigment on here that might run in the dip, but we're just gonna see what happens. Okay, that's not too bad. A little bit of pigment ran. But not too much, it looks like. It's always a risk you run when uh, when you put so much color on it. Is uh, the dip can can make it run? So into the bath she goes, and uh, hopefully that looks good. So yeah, guys, there's my first attempt ever at a long ear sunfish kind of a handcrafted color and uh, you know that's kind of what it's all about is trying new things you know seeing seeing how you do and then trying to improve on it so you know, the next time I do this hopefully I'll improve you know, I might get the color a little better I might do a little bit better with the uh, brushes and just make it look a little more authentic but uh, not bad for your first try and uh, or for my first try and, uh, and that's what makes it so much fun, is trying new things and then improving as you go. So hopefully if I do this one again, I can uh, do it a little bit better. Okay guys, well, um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Definitely something new and unique. And uh, that's what I'm trying to do with this channel, is to kind of open up some possibilities and try new things, even if they're dumb or if they don't turn out. I think this is actually pretty good. Um, definitely could make some improvements, but uh, that's what it's about. That's what it's about is just kind of evolving and getting better um, and not being afraid to try something that may be out of your wheelhouse. I mean, this is totally out of my wheelhouse, but um, you know, hey, a little bit of practice, I might could get it really, really, really awesome. You know, this is, this is pretty good, but that's the beauty of it. It can always get better. But um, anyway, I'm pretty tired. I was out gigging last night, got home at 3 a.m., so I'm going to hit the hay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoy Long Ear Sunfish. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know how you think I did.